everybody, welcome back to my channel. You know, it's your girl, Miss Full Face, always bringing you the most hottest, most sexy, most craziest looks out. I'm so, so sorry, guys. I've been so missing in action, but I'm back. Anyways, don't worry about the past or worry about the future. So, today, the makeup look I'm going to be doing is smoky eye kind of with glitter look. It's very simple, very easy. And it was a look that I did like last week I went out and um, so many of my friends were like asking Oh my god, that's such a nice look and everything like that. So I was like, okay, you know, what? I'll just recreate it since I don't have Anything else to do so the palette I'm going to be using today. You guys probably see it on my snapchat if you guys are following me It's um, adore me bitch So yeah, um, if you're, if you're not already, you know Follow me on snapchat, then I don't know what you're doing and on my other social media accounts. Anyways, this is the palette that I was talking to you guys about. It is the Be Perfect Cosmetics. It's the Carnival XL Pro palette. Oh my god, this palette is like the bomb. I'm telling you guys, it's like high pigmented. It has day and night looks, vibrant colors, shimmer and glow. We've got 30 vibrant matte shades, 10 high pigment shimmers, and three highlighters slash shimmers like. What? So we're just going to get right into the video. I'm going to use most colors from here and then I'm going to use some colors from another palette also which I will let you guys know as we go. Contacts, if you guys can see I'm wearing contacts. This is what the contacts look like. It's so pretty, I love it. And I just thought because I was wearing it on that night as well, I thought just to wear it today so you guys can see like um, the look, the completed look. Um, yeah, it is from... The third eye. Love it. Um, yeah, and I got like brushes, which I'll do a review on that. So I got three of these, which I'm not sure where I put the other one, probably in the bathroom. So I got three of these. Um, yeah, so I got like a like a yellowy kind of hazel. I don't know. Like I can't explain it, but. You guys will see it one of the days. It looks like that. That's one of them. And um, I'm just checking that I'm actually recording because God knows I've been through this a few times. I've got some brushes, which I'll be doing a review about also. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because you guys already seen me do that. And then I'll come back and then we'll get right into it, okay? Bye. I'm just gonna use my concealer again and just go over the eyelid and then blend it out. Concealer will do the job as well. You can put eyeshadow primer, or concealer will do the job as well. Add that to the outer corners of the eye. I always do like a V shape. It's gonna be like a transitional kind of color. Grab like a, another fluffy brush to kind of buff it out a little bit. It's always good to grab just a clean brush to always buff out your eyeshadow color. It just allows it to not look so like like it just came out of nowhere. It kind of like blends it into the Eyes, and then it kind of like allows your eyebrows to kind of like pop a little bit more too instead of just adding that harsh color right out of nowhere and it kind of just distracts the eye makeup in whole so just making sure that you kind of always go in with the clean brush and just buff it out with the same brush which is fine because we're well, you know it's going lighter to darker so it's fine um, I'm gonna go in with the color hole and add that just down from where we added the slow burn, just like so. So it's just gonna be like a few browns before we get to the black, as you can see, I'm just transitioning it slowly, but surely we're gonna get to the darker colors, just like that, okay? So you can see it's starting to build up, starting to get a bit darker on here, okay? And then after we add that, we're gonna add intuition, just a little bit dark of a brown. So we're just building the colors as you can 
and see. We're gonna add the black, which I'm gonna put that with a different color just in case. I mean, with a different brush. So I'm just gonna use this brush right here and add white out. So we're gonna add that to the eyes. So we're gonna add it pretty much all over the lid, like so. Okay. And then after doing that, we're gonna blend those colors together. Um, so make sure you get toward, between the black and the browns, just to blend it in together. And then we're gonna grab that. Um, oh yeah, we're just gonna grab the brush that I said that, not to put any color onto it. And we're just gonna uh, use that to just blend it all together also. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna add like a nice warm, as you can see all the colors have now merged together. You know, if you feel like you're like losing some of the shades, there's no problem. You can always go back and build it up again, which is fine. You know, it's this is how makeup is all about correcting. So if you lose if you lose a color that you don't want to lose, you can always go back and clean it up. Okay, I'm gonna go back again with the black. So this is just really just correcting our mistakes. Anything that. You know, because it's a smoky look, so we have to make sure that we actually get that smoky look. Um, just get it like that. Like that, and then, again, use the fluffy brush to blend it out. Yep. And then the clean brush to clean it up. And we got ourselves a nice smoky eye. I'm just going to use a nice flat brush, just like this one. Yep, and then we're going to add the concealer onto the middle of the eyelid. So pretty much where, pretty much where your pupil is. That's where I used to know where to apply my cute little baby Titus he's the one who got to choose the color if you see if you saw my snap on that weekend you'll see it I'll probably link it so you guys can see it so he chose uh, to he said use yellow so I went with keen and fortune I applied keen first Elizabeth keen Palette is just the best. Like it's just absolute best. I'm not. Even, I'm not getting paid to say this, guys. So you know, it's legit. I bought it with my own money. I think it was like eighty-eight dollars, something like that. But I will put the the amount down below. Uh, and then on top of that, I use Fortune, which is the glitter color, just to add that on top to bedazzle, bedazzle the areas. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Smoking and fantasy, so we're going to use those two colors. I'm spraying the brush. I'm so sorry for this angle, guys. I'm just too. I have. I find really good angles and then I lose it, so. Mind me. These colors didn't. Like, didn't have a lot of fallout, which I like a lot. Um. And then, do you see how I kind of got some of the...
color where it shouldn't go. Just gonna dust it off. I use is the elf, and then I use that around the eyes. So just around where the yellow and all the green is. You see how just that bit there, just how that bit there is not enough black. So I'm just gonna go back in with lights out. I didn't emphasize so much on the eyeliner, but this is what it looks like. And then we're just gonna use um, mascara. I'm gonna use these lashes here. And then I added white eyeliner to my inner eyes. I added black under the waterline. And it just gave that illusion like my eyes are so wide. So yeah, always go back and seal your lashes on liner. Yep. And that's that. So now we're gonna do the other eye. Let's go. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more black liner to it. Cool. We didn't really have that much fallouts. This is what I was talking about, guys. Like, we didn't really have that much fallouts, which is great. It's great for the soul. We're gonna move right into concealer now. And it's about over there and line down in your pen. There's lots of little lines in your face. Everywhere. Oh. It's a spotty kind of day. And then we're gonna add we're not going to add anything, we're just going to blend. So, just concealer is actually really good, like, it actually holds makeup very well. Look how it just blends so nicely, like, are you dumb? Okay. Probably look a little bit crazy, but <laughs> this is probably not the um, greatest shade for me. But as I told you guys before, I've always been using like really light um, shades for highlight. I'm used to it. I'm used to just taking more time to do stuff with makeup, makeup wise. I've just been doing it, and I feel like this gives me a really nice glow. That's why I choose to. look like ghost once you contour and everything like that which is fine this is pretty much yeah it is it is <laughs> locking them lyrics jay locking them lyrics i think at this point i should just start doing drag makeup because i feel like that's just all my makeup it's just it's it's extraordinary it's bloody extraordinary I cannot explain so I'm gonna use my translucent powder, which is the Laura Mercier. I'm gonna use Intuition and Haul again, because those colors are, that's it. They are it. bigger brush and just probably dust all the other stuff off my okay. face. The highlighter we're going to use today is Fair Play and Gold Lux. I told you this palette just has everything. Like, are you dumb? Are you dumb? So many lip, I've dropped so many of it. Like, so many of this lipstick. I 
I don't think this is the lip color I used on the day. But I'm not. As you know, here at Miss Fulfay's headquarters, we change a lot of things. I'm gonna use that brush kind of. And then we're gonna put the lip gloss. Usually, I put the lip gloss. I only started wearing lip gloss like a couple of years back, just not long. The lip gloss, try and add it like in the center. So then it just doesn't it doesn't fall out of your your lined lips. It makes everything just stay within where it needs to be. This is popular but I just don't like the smell. Don't like it. Sticky. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Um, do sure to tag me when you guys are also recreating this look. And yeah, I kind of just had an inspiration from my good old friend Titus, my little baby, and he pretty much showed the color and I just went with it and decided to do a smoking eye because I haven't done that in a minute. So yeah, and I will link where I got my contacts from, eyelashes and all that jazz. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And you know, let them know, you know, this place came to slay. I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye!